Alright guys, hello and welcome to my 19th Blitz 3D tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to make, uh, let's just say, make types. Well, create types. So, as you can see, I've started with our blank program here, and types are a very important part of game programming, and very big part of game programming. So, let's start here, and let's just say, types always start with the keyword type, and then your type. It can be type player, type maze, type whatever you want it to be. So, type player. And it always ends with end type. So, and a type has fields that it can be accessed by. So our type player, what fields will it have? What statistics will our player have? So let's make it a, have a statistic of health. It can be really whatever you want. Field, uh, let's just say field stupidity. Field IQ, or intelligence quotient, whatever you choose to call it. And, yeah, that's enough. You can have any fields that you want. You can have, like, 100 fields of your player. But I don't think that would be... Well, yeah, whatever. I don't think that would be very smart. And I don't think you would have 100 fields in your player. So, whatever. And now, we ha just have our type set up with all of our fields. Now we actually need to assign the type to an object. Now we can have absolutely any object. Our object can be hobo, our object can be me, our object can be you, our object can be Ike, Mike, whatever you want. I'm going to choose hobo, lucky hobo, dot player. All this does is assign a type player to our object hobo through the dot operator. And we set it equal to new player, which means to new type player. There we go. So now we can access all of our hobos field through hobo backslash, not slash, but backslash. I got messed up on that a lot of times. And the field we want, we can access the hobo's health, stupidity, or IQ. So I will access his health this time and set it equal to 100. I'm feeling lucky today. So, yeah, I'm just going to set him 100, his lives to 100. So now I will just print his lives out onto the screen. Text 10, 10 comma 10 comma. Uh, let's see, hobos. Help! Yeah. And now let's add hobo backslash help. There we go. Combine it into a string. And if we just run the, ran the program, we would see that we now have Hobo's Health, 100. And now let's add one onto our Hobo's Health. Or you can make it decrease. Alright, let, let's just... Uh, yeah, let's make it decrease. So, let's see, our Hobo player. Let's make our his lives decrease by one if we hold our two key two key scan code, but it's really the one key. If key down two, which is the one key, then hobo backslash health is equal to our original hobo backslash health minus one. There we go. That's it. And now, if we ran our program, one sec, just hit F5, we would see a hobo's health. And if we held our spacebar here, oh yeah, one key, sorry, we would see the hobo's health go down into the negatives, which we do not want. So we need to restrict that. So we say, if, and if you've been to the, my mouse, F, mouse FPS tutorials, you should know how to do this. If hobo slash health is equal to zero, then hobo slash health is equal to zero. So we, if it's at zero already, then just keep it at zero. So run the program. And right now, if we hold our one key, our hobo's health flies down and... What the hell? One sec. All right, if hobo's slash health... 
then hobo slash elf equals zero. I do not see what is wrong. All right, let's take a look and uh, um. Oh wait, stop. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I think I need to study up a bit. If hobo slash health is less than zero, then hobo slash health is equal to zero. There we go. Sorry about that horrible mistake. Now, hold the one key, and our hobo's health stops at zero. Yes. And now, we will make another if statement here after our render world text. If, uh, let's say, hobo backslash health is equal to zero, then text 10 comma, no, say 200 comma 10, hobo player died. There we go. Hobo player died. Let's put a sad face here. Alright, there we go. So, and end if. Alright, now let's run that program. And hobo's health. And if we actually hold our... Whoa. One sec. Wait a second. Just kind of crazily clicking. Ah. Alright, and if we hold our one arrow, one key, and occasionally we'll see Hobo Player Died right there. And yeah, guys, that was basically it. Just try experimenting. You can create, the beauty of it is that you can just create any amount of players. Instead of just like Hobo Player, you can create like Mike player, and you can create them all with the same fields. So, see you guys, and have a nice day.